In general, Japanese are known for their reliable engines, especially those petrol ones. With a single thought, you should be able to imagine tens of amazing engines from the country of rising sun. We are all humans though, and nothing can be perfect all the time. Introducing top 5 worst engines from Japan. By the way, even though they happen to be the worst ones, they may not necessarily be as bad as it could appear. Toyota 1MZ-FE As a widely used V6, the 1MZ could have had potential to be a good engine without a single particular problem. It is highly recommended to regularly change the oil because if you drag on these intervals even a little, the engine sludge is about to hit you very badly and it will be nasty and very expensive. Subaru EE20 The famous Subaru Boxer Diesel, as the world's first car diesel boxer engine, is one of the worst engines to come from Japan. Generally, it is now rather to buy a Japanese petrol than diesel, as they don't make such good diesels. Especially the very first models of this boxer have problems to cross 40,000 miles. It also has DPF problems, likes to dig holes into pistons with its high pressure direct injection system and is recommended not to chip tune it. Toyota 7M GTE The 7M GT is the only engine to receive a turbocharger within the M series and that was its main problem. It wasn't well prepared and Toyota made a few engineering mistakes during the development. Its head screws needed to be torqued down harder otherwise the head gasket will blown sooner or later. Connecting rods also like to knock which may lead to a blown bottom end. Mitsubishi 4G54B The 4G53 engine featured an electronically controlled twin Mikoni carbs in combination with O2 sensors, what ended up as the pain in the ass to work on. It became the first Japanese electronically fuel injected engine, what some describe as sketchy at best fuel distribution into each cylinder. Warping heads were also present. Nissan QR25DE The most common problem with the QR25 engine is that its header integrated cat will die in some time because of shit ECU software. The engine then sucks all the mess inside and it happens to cause higher oil and water consumption. Besides, there is also an issue with the butterfly valves in the integrators. The screws like to get loose which may be catastrophic for the cylinder walls. <laughs> 